Hello, all creative filmmakers. In this video, I am going to show you how to create this animated countdown timer inside After Effects by using expressions. And I will give you this countdown timer After Effects project. You can download this project and customize this as your choice. So let's get started. Now, we are inside After Effects. First, let's create a new composition. I am going to call this countdown timer and I am working on a full HD resolution. Now, click on OK. Next, let's use the text tool to type out 05 or any number. You can change this to being your desired font and you can change text size. Also, you can change text color. And then, I am going to use the align tools here to center it horizontally and vertically in the frame. Next, let's create a new adjustment layer. Right click and create a new adjustment layer. And let's press enter to rename this to control. So now, this is the control adjustment layer. This is going to be the layer that we are going to apply all of our expression controls. Now, go to the effects and presets panel. Let's search for slider control and drag and drop this slider control onto our control layer. Now, press E to visible our all effects. And let's rename this to time control. Now, go to the effects and presets panel. Let's search for checkbox control. Now, drag and drop this checkbox control onto our control layer. And let's rename this to countdown. It is important that you write all the spellings correctly using capitalization. Because, if you misspell this, the expression is not going to work. You have to try to write the spellings the way I did. Now, I'm going to apply our expression to the number text layer. Let's toggle open the text layer and go to the source text. Next, hold the Alt key from the keyboard and click on the stopwatch here. Then here, we have to paste our expression. I have already typed in the notepad, but you will find this expression text down in my description box below. Now, copy this expression and paste the expression in this field. Now, you can see that our number is set to 00. zero. To change this value so the expression will work, you can change this number value from the time control slider. You can change to any number from here. If you want it to count down 10 to 1, you have to check on the checkbox from the countdown. Now, I am going to change my timer back to 10. You can always change this at any time. Now, we have to select the ellipse tool from here. Then, click on our composition and hold the shift key to drag out a perfect circle. Now, click on the stroke option. And, we have to turn off the stroke and click on OK. Then, click on the fill option and we have to turn on the fill color, then click on OK. Now, we have to make sure to move this layer below our text layer in the composition. Now press Enter and let's rename this to circle just for organization. Now, press S to increase the scale size. Then, use the Align tools to make sure it's in the exact center of our frame. Now, let's duplicate this layer to make our outer ring. That's why, press Ctrl D to duplicates the circle shape. Now, we can press S on our keyboard to pull up the scale parameters of this new layer. Now, we have to increase the scale size. Now, let's go up to the fill options and press on the word fill and let's change the fill to empty by clicking on this icon with a red slash. And then, we can click on the word stroke to enable a stroke. Then, use the align tools to make sure it's in the exact center of our frame. Now, move over to the effects and presets panel and let's search for fill. Then, we can add this color fill to this circle layer. The default color is red and I am going to change this to yellow. But you can make any color that you like. Next, we're going to add the dashes to this ring. We need to toggle open contents of our stroke controls. As you scroll down, you will find an area for dashes. Now, click on the plus icon to add the dashes. And, open up this to adjust the dash value. Now, I am going to make the dash value 20. And, you can make any dash value. Also, you can change this at any time. Now, you can see that we have our dashes. But, I want to add a glow effect 
on top of this ring. Go to effects and presets, and search for the glow. Now, drag and drop this effect, in this circle layer. Now, from the effects control panel, we have to make the glow radius value 100. And, make the glow intensity value 1. Now, we have to duplicate this ring layer, by press control plus D, press enter, to rename this layer, to ring 2. And again, press enter, to rename this layer, to ring 1. And now, press E, and, turn off the glow effect, of this ring 1 layer. And again, press T, to change the ring opacity. Then, we have to make the opacity value around 20. Now, you can see, we have the first ring, which is more transparent, without the glow. Now, on ring 2, to animate around on top of ring 1. Let's go to ring 2, and let's toggle open the content. And, from this little add icon, we have to click, on the trims path option. Then, open up the trim paths parameter, to get the start and end. Now, we have to add another expression, but, only to the end parameter. Now, hold the alt key, from the keyboard, and click on the stopwatch. Here, we have to paste our second expression, copy this second expression, and paste this, into this expression box. Now we are done. All this expression connects the end path, to the time control effects slider. So, it will change time based, on the time control value number, as you see, when it plays back. So now, this animation will change, if we change the time control value. So, if we go back to our control layer, and change the value. That's why, the animation will change automatically. In this way, you can create countdown timer in After Effects. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.